This is Turtle Tracks Travels with Gary and Denise. Welcome to part two of our Nullarbor road trip where we discover caves and camp right on the Bunda Cliffs. We're continuing our trip along the Nullarbor towards the Australian Bight. And hopefully we're going to drop the caravan off and then go and find these caves. Uh, there's going to be some really interesting caves on Nullarbor, so um, we'll have a look, see what we think. Yeah, we'll find we'll a... We'll let you know, isn't it good? We'll find a camp and then go on and explore. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it, let's go. We've stopped to refuel at Nundru Roadhouse because this is the cheapest. I looked on Petrol Spy app and from now onwards petrol just diesel I should say just keeps going up and up and up. Here it's 205 but I think if you leave it till you get to Border Village I think it's about a dollar more. But there is ones either side of that that are a little bit cheaper. So we filled up at Seduna which was reasonable. I think that was 205. And then obviously here just topping back up again. Might as well while it's a bit cheaper than some of them. We're gonna be 260, 270 upwards. In between stops, the road just goes on and on and on. <laughs> just like you. <laughs> Someone's got to be a naggle, a nagger, and if you get fed up, you just look into their eyes, ah, and it all makes you feel better. You have a bit of turtle love. You have yeah. a bad day. A bit of turtle love. Yeah, it's a bit of turtle love. Apparently, Nullarbor means no trees, but we obviously haven't got to that bit yet because we still can see trees. I think it's just like a certain section of the Nullarbor plain where no trees are very minimal anyway. Just a bit of interesting information there. In evidence, there's the trees. So hey, we're on the Nullarbor plain and yet we can um, confirm there are no trees. No. Just little bushes. It. And miles and miles and miles of road. With no trees. How many trees? No. Nil quoi. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. Got for having trees and bushes and there's just nothing. We stopped at the Nullarbor Roadhouse and they gave us some information on the Nullarbor Caves. So there's this Murrawijini Caves and we've got to go down this gravel road. So we're just letting some pressure out of the tyres. Fingers crossed this is going to be good and I'm not going to be sending us on a little merry dance to nothing. of a rough road coming in just a few little uh, corrugated bits a bit of um, loose gravel and a few little rocky bits not too bad you just got to obviously slow down take your time take it easy man those people over there didn't make it too far nine kilometers of this so Gary's gonna kill me if it's no good when we get there. <laughs> ah, that'd be right, that's what it is, isn't it? You gotta take you go, that's just the way it is. Isn't yeah. It? Here we are at the Marajini Caves. It's about nine caves, caves off the uh, highway, isn't it? Yeah. Um, got all the way out here. It's a bit of a drive and it's not really a safe way to get down. I don't, it doesn't look like, and no. it's a bit dangerous. So we thought, oh, we're the only people out here. It's a bit dodgy if something happens. We're, we're, in, we're and really there, in it, we? And there could be stakes down there. I was just about to get changed and we said, oh no, we check it out first, but it looks a bit dodgy. 
Yeah, so, all the way out here on our own. Yeah. One of us bitten by a snake, we've had it. So we're going to hang around and um, see if we can see, because it's a nesting ground for swallows and hawks. So uh, let's see if we can spot some of them. And There's been plenty of swallows oh, flying around. Yeah, a few swallows. Those and a hawk, yeah, but you never know. Never you mind. might see one in a minute. Never, never mind. Never mind. I was a bit worried as well. I'll probably get down there and I won't be able to get out again. Because <laughs> obviously trying to pull yourself back out is uh, is quite difficult. Although this cave has been approved for public access, you do enter at your own risk. Many caves on the Nullarbor can only be entered with an accredited caving group. Taking the turn off to the Bunder Cliffs Camp One, so easy to miss the turn off. Luckily, we all, we had already read that in the reviews on Wicked Camp, so we were both keeping our eyes peeled. And well, we hope this is the track to the camp. We're not 100% sure. We're, no, because look. We'll see. So it, it says about two k's along this track. So well, we'll, we'll soon find out. It, lead it to somewhere. back up so we can uh, get around this corner. It was pretty scary, my heart was pounding. <laughs> um, that was pretty scary. 
because of the caravan we're off the ground. I know. <laughs> was you worried? Do you want to go off-road in it? I know, but it was... Fully off-road! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. No, we've got to go up here now. Well, we think we come into the campsite. We're not really sure. We guess these are the sand dunes people go on about that you can oh, camp behind. Taking it easy because I'll get out gas if you like. Hello. Oh no, it does go up. Oh, there's people here. There you go, look at that. I'm really shocked. And they're probably shocked too that other yeah. people have turned up. Well, it was worth it because we got an absolutely cracking spot right on the cliffs here. At the Bunda Cliffs, I think it's called. I'm not sure if it's one or two. I think it's one. One. I think this camp's but one. But we come a bit of a funny route, didn't we? Yeah. Had a bit, a bit of an emergency turn, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Makes you think, oh, no, it's going to roll the caravan. Bit of wheel lift there. Bit of wheel lift, Ooh. but you know, you've got to do that, you? Yeah. That's what it's all for, isn't it? Yeah. Get brilliant. out of there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, right. absolutely stunning. Look at that. And look at the view we've got. That's just cracking. I'll turn it around. We are, we are just there. I said, don't worry, you just go over and do some photo shooting. I'll keep working, I'll get the kettle on. Yeah, about time. Bloody stop, do I? I'm going to nickname you Polly. Polly kettle, Polly pocket. Polly put the kettle on. We'll all have tea. Well, we had an eventful night last night. We got in bed and the wind kicked up and Gary was like, oh, do you think we should move further away from the edge? Not that it was right on the edge, but then the doubts start playing on your mind. And I think Gary was worried that it was going to get blown over the edge of the cliff. Won't you guess? No. <laughs> yes, you <she> was. <laughs> so, uh, we're a little bit further back now, but we're still Got the fantastic view, it's just over there. Personal safety. And there was just one little camper that was right round there and they've gone this morning. Thank God, they're going to be nervous. <laughs> so uh, we've got it all to ourselves. Beautiful. We're trying to be really conservative with our water because um, we've stopped at a few places where we just haven't got around to doing the washing and now we're on the Nullivore obviously we don't want to do any washing so I think we're going to slowly run out of clothes because the washing machine's full and then we've got a massive bowl there and uh, we'll have to have a look on wiki camps because um, I mean, we don't mind paying it as a paid thing sometimes they're a bit where you dollar for so many litres so um, yeah we'll have all that to do to catch up on we're going to go further along, see where we end up. Gary's doing his exercises this morning. Sitting here this morning, having our cup of uh, freshly brewed coffee. Looking at that amazing view behind us. Just contemplating what we're going to do next. Yeah. Now, do we stay this side of the border and just do a little bit more to coast and spend one more night in South Australia. Or we might go over the border today. It's we're debatable. We're not sure. And also, we do have a little bit of salad left and a couple of bits, which, because you're not allowed to take fruit or veg or anything like that across the border for quarantine because of, um, I think, fruit flies and other pests. So, do we stay this side and use a few bits up? Because you either use it or, or lose, lose it. Or lose it. Yeah, or lose it. Yeah. You have to bin it. So, oh, we've got a couple of bananas left as well. We yeah. know we definitely can't take them can't across. Them, but we can eat them. Um, so, do we do, yeah, 
We'll see. We're not a rush this morning. No. Windy night last night. Um, yeah. Yeah, it did blow a bit, didn't it? Cool. And then it sort of calmed down. It was really weird. It was really yeah. blustery and the van was shaking. And then all of a sudden it just... A few just, gusts and... Uh, yeah, it went on for quite a while though. And, and I must have fallen asleep. And then I woke up in the middle of the night and it was just like no wind. And this morning it's not too bad. A nice breeze. No, it's a little breeze. It's, but it's, it's lovely. It's not really windy. Uh, well, it was a lovely sunny morning. And oh, we had a little shower last night as well, didn't we? Yeah, we had a few Freak little shower. It wasn't rain. nothing, just a little bugger all really. But it's worth coming down that track because then you get this more or less all to yourselves. And well, there's only three people here, wasn't it? Yeah, One but they're, you're all miles apart. And yeah. You've got no this cracking view of the bite. It's lovely. Tracking, a bit bumpy, but like anything, you load tyre pressures yeah. and take your time. You do funny little turns, didn't you? Yeah. And as Denise would say, need a rubber caravan. Yeah, I did say that. Need a rubber caravan. <laughs> Nah, Maybe not right. quite, but it nah. feels. Oh, yeah, it was. Bit, it was a bit dodgy. No, it wasn't. Put it round. Did it I get it round there? Did I get it? You did. Oh. You got us here in one piece. That's all that matters, isn't it? Done the right job. Done the right thing, enough. <sighs> yeah. To the highway. Just took a bit more air back in the tyres. I was down to 25 psi, back up to 50 for highway driving. All good. <laughs> Just look at the state of the caravan. Look, oh, we're gonna have some cleaning to do. And the truck is getting a good workout. So we've got a bit of a clean up to do, guys. Yeah, any dirt and dust, isn't it? A little wash-up. Mm. Bloody brilliant, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We've pulled off and this is the best of the Bunda Cliff views, apparently. And it's pretty impressive. Yeah, look at that. Pretty amazing. Oh, Bloody stunning, what isn't a it? spot. Wow, look at that crack. <laughs> That's eventually, all that bit of land there will eventually fall into the ocean. So don't stand too close to the edge. <laughs> or you could be going with it. Yeah, you'll be a goner. So we've turned off. We're going to the best of the bite cliff top camp and uh, more of these little tracks, du really dusty, rocky. But this one isn't too long, we don't think. Nah, it should be there. Might be something just there, isn't it? Pretty easy. Amazing. Cool. Oh, look at that! Look at that view! Best of the Australian bite, look. Oh, and I think it is. Oh, I'm sure there's loads of views, but this is uh, pretty specky, yeah. isn't it? Pretty good. Pretty pleased with that view. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, it's amazing. For free. For free. This lad running back to his car now just flagged us down. He's popped a tyre and he doesn't know how to change it. So we're gonna let some pressure out of our tires and head down and give him a hand. Oh yeah, it is low, isn't it? It's actually grounded. Nice. Well, that took longer than we thought, didn't it? But you're a hero, helping yeah. that young couple. I oh, know. I can't help myself, I'm always like that. <laughs> but, no, it's just a young couple in distress, didn't really know what they were doing, so we had to really stop and give him a hand, which is, which is all right, fine. Shit,
Well, last night was the last night on the cliffs, and now we're going to go over to the Western Australian border. It's only about 30 k's away or something like that. So, uh, here we go. So we've reached the quarantine checkpoint. This is the place to put any contraband, like fruit, vegetables, um, stuff like that in the bin. So Gary's putting our rubbish in the bin. <laughs> um, check this fridge as well. Check yeah, check that fridge. Well, we're through the uh, quarantine. That was interesting. She came in the caravan, obviously looked in the fridge, the freezer, um, looked under the bed, uh, opened up like pantry cupboards, and then she opened up a couple of random cupboards. So obviously some people must hide up stuff. Um, but we'd already cleared out of that bin just before. Oh, I just had some garlic in a drawer. She asked, oh, you had any garlic? So I said, oh yeah, I've got some garlic. So that had to go. And um, what did she do? Oh, no, oh yeah, just had a look in there, see if any seafood or, you know, like that, I went, no. What, in your you? Fridge. fridge? Yeah, just had a good look. Nothing really, so no, that's all good. She was pretty happy with that, so. We're through. It's all a bit weird though, isn't it? Yeah, it's like going to another country when you go through the customs and almost feel like we had to show our, our uh, passports. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to get them out next. Yeah. Where am I? We're in. We're in Western Australia. Hey! Still got another 712 kilometres till we get to Norseman and then we can turn down and head towards the coast. Looking forward to this guys, aren't you? Oh tripping, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling this section isn't gonna be as interesting because we've not got all the cliffs and stuff. This is gonna be boring as well. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the really boring bit. It all flattens off. It's just going to be probably 712 kilometres of this. Yeah, so uh, don't get too excited. Even, even Terence has given up on life. Yeah, he's going to sleep, you know, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a long way of just flat, boring. I mean, coming up to the other night, it'll be flat and boring, but at least you can do it, divert off and go to the cliffs and that, but I think you're going to see a lot here, unless you divert towards the ocean. but. Bit of a drive in it to get towards the sea. It sort of cuts inland a little bit after a while, don't it? Yeah. Oh well, we will see. Well, we stopped at Kaguna for some fuel. Right. Up until this point, it, the drive was just really boring. But apparently, this is Hover the Universe. <laughs> look at that, look. Oh, oh dear, how the universe. Right, let's keep going then, shall we? Yeah, let's push off. <laughs> we've done all that really interesting driving, and now we've got this to look forward to. Da, da, da. Australia's longest straight road, 146.6 kilometres. I bet that's really interesting, I tell you. Because <laughs> I tell you, these last, what, five hours, I've been so boring. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Come on, bring it on! Bring it on, come on! Let's do it! And it's only my turn to drive as well. Oh, this is gonna be. Ha 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 ha! How cool is that? Oh, God. Hang around, let's get this on. Oh, you've got a seatbelt on, you're going already. This is gonna be really great. You're gonna be right, you're gonna fall asleep, are you? Oh, no, this is, so, this is the highlight of the trip. Yeah. Australia's road in yeah. Australia. Great. Longest. Well, we finally reached Norseman uh, <laughs> after our one epic drive to Mekos and Yeah. The first bit was good, but because um, we stopped off all the cliffs. But the, when you got over the border, Jesus Christ, was it boring? It just goes on and on and on. Oh, it was on. over 700 <laughs> kilometres just to here. Like, Full geez. day driving. Yeah, it was a nightmare, wasn't it, really? Yeah. It was just boring, wasn't it? Oh, well, <laughs> is what it is. You have those... Uh, yeah. When you when you live in Australia and you travel in Australia, you, um, you have them long drives, I'm afraid, don't you, sometimes? Yeah, you just got to suck it up and get on with it. That's it. Um, luckily, when you get to Norseman, there's just a free 
RV camp, so we stayed the night. Um, Norseman in its heyday was a gold mining town, but obviously now it's a sleepy town. There's a pub, there's an IGA to get a couple of bits and a few uh, little shops, and that's about it really. Okay, right, and uh, all cool, isn't it? Yeah. This is just the uh, RV camp, just a dusty field, but it's sufficient just to park up for the night. Catch us in the next video because we're off now to Esperance. Yay! Yay! Should be good. I think it's only 200 and two hours or something. Yeah, hopefully we can find somewhere to camp because it's very popular. That's it. But we'll see if we get there. Catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notifications bell and follow our adventures around the globe.